Hey, what's going on guys? Lance Armstrong's Handlebars here, but you can call me Doom Fun Dad. And today guys, I'm bringing you all this commentary over Doom Sharps 296 to 1, which is incredible. This is the third highest KD in Black Ops 2, as well as the third highest kills in Black Ops 2, right behind Doom Visions with the 297 to 0. And uh, if he would have gotten one more kill, he would have been tied up with it. So this gameplay completely blows a regular 200 plus out of the water, which makes it look bad. And uh, Doom Sharp continues to change the game with the gameplays that he's been getting lately. Now I know it's with the AN94 on raid, but correct me if I'm wrong, but there's only been one raid gameplay on Doom out of all the gameplays we've posted in the time that we've been up. Only one on raid. So I know there's some kid, I, you know who you are, complaining in the comments that it's that all we upload is raid AN94, but it's it, that's really not how it goes. We're This is like the second raid gameplay we've uploaded. So um, we're trying to stay away from raid as much as we can because we know people don't like that. We want to have as much variety as we can. You guys have seen a whole ton of MW3 and as well as a lot of gun variety and a lot of map variety. And that's what Doom tries to do is we, we don't want to just, you know, um, every upload raid. Like, that's that's not what we're about. But this gameplay is an exception to the staying away from raid rule um, because definitely, like, why would we not post the third highest kills in Black Ops 2? And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty well-played game. He only dies once, and he gets, I, I believe he gets six swarms, six dogs, and six load stars, which is insane. So six sets of kill streaks. Um, which is, yeah, it's just ridiculous, and, uh, he's not even, he's not using the VTOL. I, I want to say if he was using the VTOL, probably would have broken the record for kills. I'm, I'm just saying right now because the dogs, like, they're good, but a VTOL would have taken him over 300, in my opinion. I, I might have been wrong, I might be wrong, we'll never know because he wasn't using the VTOL, but that's just my opinion. Now, uh, make sure you guys go and subscribe to him. Because Doom Sharp is he's been pounding out these insane gameplays every day now. And uh, if you want to see the crazy stuff that he's getting before it gets posted on this channel, definitely sub to his channel because you'll see it on his channel first, most likely. And you'll be the first person to know about it. Now last year, to finish up to talk about the gameplay, I'm going to throw up his stats right now so you guys know that he wasn't reverse boosting. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, now I'm going to jump into a commentary topic. If you guys enjoy the commentary, you can subscribe to my channel. It's a fun dad. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to jump right into this commentary and talk about it's kind of the clicks in the COD community. Now there's a whole ton of clicks and subsections in this Call of Duty YouTube community. And I can really break it down into five groups. And I kind of want to talk about the, the whole how big the audience is for each group and uh, where each one kind of stands. So uh, the five groups I can break it down into is obviously pub stomping. You're watching a pub stomping video right now. That's basically, you know, uh, people who go for gameplays in public matches. Then there's the news group, like LEA, and then there's the entertainers, the trollers, and the snipers. So I'm going to take the highest subscribed YouTube channels out of all of these little communities and use them as a reference. So the biggest Call of Duty community right now, I would have to say, is trolling because the biggest guy, really, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but KYR Speedy has the most subs out of any troller there is on YouTube who does Call of Duty. So um, he has 2,470,000 subscribers. So that's, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the highest subscribed Call of Duty channel. So. Um, obviously, just about anyone likes to watch trolling videos, and they're really fun to watch for a lot of people. So that's pretty much the biggest community, and that's if you're, you have the biggest chance of growing as a YouTube channel if you're really good at trolling. And it takes a lot of creativity to be one of these channels because you have to constantly think of different ideas to troll people and uh, get people to laugh and stuff like that. So. Obviously, if you're a troll channel and you're really good at it, you're going to blow up. There's no there's no ch questions about it. If you're good at trolling, your channel will blow up. Now, the next category we're going to talk about is the entertainers group. Now, um, I couldn't really think of any other category to fit these people 
uh, people like I am the attack and um, just people who just make videos that aren't there's not about the gameplay and it's not really necessarily trolling it's just for entertainment so um, I guess the highest subscribed channel in this category is probably white boy 7th Street and he's got 2,000 or no not 2,000 2 million hundred ninety three thousand subscribers so um, that's just about the community of the people who just want to watch videos just to be entertained which is pretty much everyone but like st statistic wise this is like the highest channel that just is is in it to just entertain and just do whatever videos they want now the next biggest click sub community of the youtube community uh the call of duty community is the news guys and uh if <laughs> obviously the biggest person in this community is Ali A, and anyone who cares about Call of Duty news is going to be subbed to Ali A, and that's about 2,080,000 people, so that's the next biggest community, and it's absolutely huge. If you're really good at keeping up on the news and bringing out those videos, you're going to blow up. Um, the next biggest channel is, or the next biggest community is the sniping community. Obviously, FaZe is huge, and a lot of people really enjoy sniping videos, so the next biggest community is uh, FaZe with 2,022,000 subscribers. Before I talk about pub stomping, I just want to stress that all four of those communities that I've talked about so far are well over 2 million subscribers on the leading channels for each one. So, as you can see, the, those communities, the audiences are huge. And then we go over to pub stomping and competitive. I completely forgot to include competitive earlier. But um, first, let's talk about competitive. So probably tell me if I'm wrong again. I'm, this is just what I'm going off of because this is like what, I, um, what I've seen. And I might be wrong. There might be a, a higher subscribed competitive channel. But I'm pretty sure the highest subscribed competitive channel is Nade Shot with uh, 500k. And then we go to pub stomping, and we got Fear Crads with the highest subscribed pub stomper, and he's got 267k. So, if you think about it, pub stomping, we truly are the smallest community by a lot. All these other communities, the, the leading channel is at 2 million, and then the closest one to us is double our size with, with competitive, and I'm not... I'm not even really on top of the competitive scene, so I'm I'm pretty sure that Nade Shot is the highest uh, the highest su subscribed for competitive. But like <laughs> competitive is double our size, and all these other communities are like what eight times our size. So uh, truly, <laughs> the moral of the story is if you want to grow on YouTube, don't pub stomp, <laughs> and that's that's all I want to. Uh, that's really what this commentary comes down to, I guess. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and the gameplay. You guys have to go subscribe to Doom Sharp for getting this gameplay. He's an insane player. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Doom Fun Dad or Zach, and I'm out. Peace.